Okay, so here we are on our iPad, and we um, are just going to simply open up the Class Dojo app. Notice that when you open the app, um, your classes already show up. Uh, once you've logged into the app the first time, your classes that you've preloaded through the website will show up. You do need to note that you cannot add or manage, meaning you can't add or delete students from the app itself. You have to do that on the website. So this is the app. Um, once it's open, I just have a sample class in here, and we'll just click on the class now. And then you see it opens up to the student list, and there is our uh, famous students there. Um, and you can see now that the, each student has their own personalized avatar, um, and you can now award points um, to students. So say uh, you really think that Don Cheadle and Brad Pitt both did a good job of helping someone in the class. Well, you choose uh, Don Cheadle, Brad Pitt, and then you can see that I hit down there the Helping Others button. If I think George Clooney gave me a great answer, you can see that top row, I can now award George Clooney a great answer. Um, now, Julia Roberts and Matt Damon, though, are horse playing during class. So now I click on both of them, and you can see where I've clicked on them. They're, they turn blue when you click on them. I can now go down here and choose, click on horse plane, if you see it right there, click on horse plane, and you can see that they are awarded with negative points. The negative points show up in red, the um, positive points show up as green. Now, if I want to select the entire class, um, let's say the entire class is working really hard, you know, it's been five, ten minutes of seat work and they're doing a really good job, I can actually choose now select all, if you look up here, see where it says select all, I'm going to click that, and notice it now highlights everyone. And so I want to give everyone just a, a good job for um, being on task. And so I'm just going to say um, helping others. That's what I have loaded in there. Note that when it brings up the, the awards down here, you get to edit all of these. Um, the pictures you have to choose from their preloaded picture icons. Uh, and there's, I think, 20 or 30 per um, item to choose from. But you can choose those and edit those and use that as you will. Um, and so all of these were actually put in here by myself um, just for my class last year that I used for. Um, and you can see that you can add as many as you want. Um, it'll keep going. You can even you know slide it across. Uh, same on the bottom. Um, and students really enjoy seeing their name on the screen. One of the, the usual features that I like about this is actually if um, a lot of times randomizing who you choose and not just calling on the same students is, is hard because students think you're picking your favorites. Um, there is a button, if you'll see it, right next to select all, it says select random. And when you touch that button on the iPad app, select random, notice that it highlighted in blue Matt Damon. Matt Damon was randomly chosen. If I push select random again, I now have Don Cheadle chosen. I'll press it again, and I get Elliot Gould. Um, and so you can see it just it randomly selects, so the students don't even know who's going to get called on. Um, so they're engaged, they're, they're looking, they want the points, they can earn points. Um, this is what it looks like on the iPad. If you want to know what it looks like on your iPhone or iDevice or even an Android device, uh, let me pull that up here. Here is what it looks like on the iDevice. This is an iPhone I'm actually using. I actually like it better on the iPhone than I do on the iPad, but that's just my preference. If I choose the same class, Notice that when I open up on my um, iPhone here, I've got the same students. I can scroll up and down and look at them all. And notice that the points are the same. Um, the points that I just added on the iPad show up immediately on my iDevice. And I was just talking about the, uh, the randomizing. I can actually click the random button on my uh, iPhone here. And it will do the same thing. And see how it shows Bernie Mac. And it will pop up to give points. And I'll give Bernie Mac a, uh, a breakthrough answer there. Um, but the thing about that that I find fun with the device is if I just shake my iPhone, it will automatically choose randomly someone, and there it goes. It chose George Clooney. I didn't have to touch anything. I just shook my iPhone, and it automatically chose for me. And so now I'm going to give him a, a great answer there. So you can see the points that were awarded, um, and you can see, and we'll go ahead and give uh, Julia Roberts a um, completed homework and give something to... Matt Damon, so everybody has positive points there. Um, so now you've seen how you can award points using the app. 
um, using either the iPad or your iPhone uh, device. Here is actually where you can now go to the website. Pull that up. And if you click on reports, so I've logged in, you can now see the whole class report, positive, negative. You can see the, the total number of points as you arrow over them. Um, if I want to see like uh, Julia Roberts only got 66% positive. If I want to click on Julia Roberts, I can now see, oh, she lost a point for horse playing, but she completed her homework and helped others. So these are just uh, useful tools um, that you can use. One of the things I love is the parent accounts. Um, if you go here to parent accounts, you can then click print parent codes, um, and that'll give you parent codes to um, cut out and send home with students. You can also just add in their email address by typing them in here, but I love to print the parent codes that cut out. Uh, let me click on that and show that to you. Um, see if it'll pop up here and we're gonna keep that and let's see if I can get that to go here okay so you can kind of see uh, just what it looks like when you print this is just a PDF that you would print out and it has the students names. it only shows first names so this is Matt Damon's um, and then this is the parents code it tells them to go to classdojo.com slash parent enter their code and then they enter their name email and they can create a password and they have their own account and they can keep track of their student same thing happens for students. You can see print invitations, hand them out, and then students log in. Um, if you just click this button, get invitations for your students. We'll go through the same process. We open it, and here is the student account. So you can see that it says they go to classdojo.com slash student. They log in to their existing account or create a new account. And once they are in the site, they just enter their student code right here. And it automatically takes them to your classroom and puts them in there. Each teacher can use this, and each teacher's would their they would have a different number student code for each teacher's classroom, so they can keep track of that. Same thing for the parent codes, um, and it'll all go into one account for the student and one account for the parent, um, assuming they log in properly. So you can see how useful Class Dojo can be when you use it the way it's designed. It's actually a great, great, great tool.